okay so in this session we are going to learn about joins okay joins in report definition <coughs> so you guys have already probably have already got a glimpse of joins in database pegas report definition is nothing but a visual way of writing query okay it's just a visual way of writing query so it's similar to uh, basically logic wise it is absolutely same as you have in the database of course not that much flexibility you have here because it's guided it's ui driven but the joins are similar okay same as the database so in pega we have several type of joins there is one that is called class join this is the standard join of two tables or more than two tables yeah that we do through classes because every class is mapped with a table so if you're joining from one class to another class indirectly you are joining from one table to another table so this one called class join the other one is called association associations are similar to predefined class joins okay something that we call very often use right when something we use very often it's better to have it stored separately to be reusable uh, to make it reusable and third thing is sub report sub reports are similar to inline join where you say select star from this where id equals to id in and then again select id from blah 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 or not in so that's the sub report so this is what we are going to learn one by one okay so in the class join we have different different join type right a left outer join right outer join um you guys probably already know that from the database concept but how do we implement that in the report definition so let's have a look at that so we have our case right we have our case and the class of the case is cb obs work right and then you have new saving accounts okay this is your work class case class then you have data in the data you have customer cb data customer right and then you have accounts again another data accounts now uh, and that is actually cb data account okay now in the case you are managing the creation of account and customer but you are not storing that customer and account data into the case it's stored separately in these two classes now if management asked you to give you the, uh, to get basically list of cases with customer info and account info so you have the customer info here you have the account info here right and you have the case id and uh, cid stored in your work class so obviously you need to join more than one class to get all that information right we do not have i mean we do have cid but we don't know the first name and last name that's stored here in this table right we know the uh, cid but we don't know which account number has been generated and uh, which uh, account type was created for that matter right so that's where the typically uh, that's where typically we use join conditions i mean in the database you will just join the table of this this and this and you will get all the records but in the report definition how do we do that same approach let's see so let's create a report definition in this work class sorry get customer account details okay create an open 
now at the moment we have cid all right let's see the property that so case has the cid that's the link right that's the primary key of customer information and foreign key of the account i mean composite of the account so we can match that that's okay but let's see what is the name of that property cust id so we don't see it here right because cust id is not exposed not optimized for reporting which means that it is not created separately in the table that corresponds to this class okay uh, in the selection you can still select unoptimized col uh, columns but in the filter criteria it will not accept okay but the best practice is that if you are reporting on a column you should optimize that okay so let's optimize this customer id all you got to do is right click and optimize for reporting so this will create a new column see customer id will be created as a column in this table that's the table where this class is mapped okay if you want to control them by default it's a, um, it's a string property text property so 32 is going to be the length if you want to control the length just go there in the advanced tab and maximum length you specify the maximum length that's what pega will read then okay so let's say that i want 50 save it and i will optimize try to optimize it again so this time see this is 50 by default it will take 32 so this is going to create a column in this table of pega data schema there are 30 instances which are already there there are 30 record in that table so this will what it will do is it will extract the customer id from the blob and put them into the newly created column for every record okay so let's see okay now this will be okay and if i want to select it again this will come here cust id okay and say this is display name you can change it customer name customer id so this is still i mean this is just from the table only from this table only i'm getting all the customer id for every case okay let's run it so this is giving me all the customer id but some doesn't have customer id we should ignore them because that means those cases were created but were not completed okay so we will say where cust id not null okay is not null all right we got 10 records now i need to get the information from account from customer first okay customer is created into separate table that is fully exposed table so we do not have to optimize every field is stores as a column there so that is okay but how do we join a class so go to the data access tab of the report definition and you see the class joins click on add class join you select the class you want to join with cb data customer okay now you need to provide a prefix to this table just like in the database we provide alias right to the table so we will say customer c only okay so c um <coughs> include only matching rows this is in a in join okay in a join that whatever filter criteria i will give here it will match and return those only so let's give a criteria so c that is the prefix of the table dot cust id or cid i think we have cid only there yeah cid should be equal to this class you are at the moment in the work class so you don't have to provide any alias there okay just simply say cust id so if cust id matches then only fetch the record right submit it now it says only matching rows all right only matching rows let me just put 
one field one column from there so select i will say c dot cid just to match it okay we don't really need it cid is already there but just to match it and then c dot first name okay now i have at the moment filters valid property okay that is fine that should be fine this is okay hmm. what happened one second let me just refresh it once data access this is all okay save c dot cid save okay this is fine run it so you see only matching rows when there is a record in the customer table then only that case detail is coming okay and there should be a record from the cid customer table to the case as well only matching rows okay that's the most important join now maybe i want to see all the cases where cid is there but there is no corresponding customer id created in the customer table that means something went wrong there i mean case is there but we are not having customer id so i want everything from the customer table uh, from the case table okay so if i want everything from the case table that is the current class every record of the current class then i'll say include all row in this class that's left out as well okay this class the case id case class now if i run it so everything that is matching will come of course and every other non matching record from the case class will also come there okay now i might want to have see matching cases but i want to see all the customer ids just try to see why that customer id doesn't have a case right so i will say not full outer this is going to be right outer join so i'll say include all rows in joined class every row in the joined class so this is easy to understand than the database run it we don't have anything in the customer table that is not matching but let me insert one record I got to insert that okay, no problem let's just okay i'll show that concept is this is a little bit uh, broken this data class One second, let me try that again. Which so this one, right? Let me add this. now if i run this i will see c10 as well here it should have been there okay one second 
Standardized series include all row in the join class. C10 is not coming. One second. No, this is there. Okay, this is matching fine. All row in the join class. The C10 needs should come. Okay. The corresponding customer ID was setting. I mean, because this customer ID was null, and we had a filter criteria that we should not get any result with the customer ID null. That's why. Okay. Makes sense. So this is the class join. All right. Now we need more information, not just that one. So we will add C dot first name. Okay. Now if I run this, okay, right, we will just include only matching rows at the moment. Now similarly we want account information as well. So we will do one more join, you can have more than one join, right. So we will see a dot, I mean a, that's account, cb, account. And this time too, we will have a dot CID is there, right? The customer ID is there in the A as well, equals to cust ID. Here, same concept, want to include matching rows or not? We will include just the matching rows. And add account ID. Account type. Should be enough. Now, if I run this, so see, we are getting different different records. All right. If you want to remove any duplicate, if that's coming in, because the way we have designed it, same customer can have multiple, right? So let's just check this box remove duplicate from the final result run it and you will get only three records c1 c2 and c2 has two account id that's why okay there are two records for that so this is uh, basically this concludes the join class join the report definition class join all right in the next session we will learn sub report Thank you.